Hi folks, I uh, haven't done watercolours for a couple of weeks. I've spent my time doing acrylics and some abstract ones. I enjoy doing the abstracts, we've got one ready to go, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to put on it. But then that's abstract for you, isn't it? But here I'm just going to go back to traditional scene, lake scene, water. I've got a bit of... Uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound paper, a lovely paper. Uh, when it's, uh, it's I'll wet it all over first and then it will expand and then I can just reclip it. And as we go, now my, I'll get my box of paints. They, they've got a bit dry because I haven't used them and I put them in a, not my stay wet palette, I have my acrylics in there. So there we are. I've just sprayed them with a bit of, bit of water. I'll just clean off the middle clean the spare water off the middle and then we should be good to go okay hope you had a good Easter folks the barbecue weather's just about come to an end in, in the UK well at least in the south it's nice it's a bit cloudy and probably about uh, 17 degrees at the moment I'm hoping to do a barbecue later too, before, before the, the rain comes. I do like being outside with my barbecue. Just wet the paper, it's a nice liberal wet. Okay, we'll just let that soak in a bit. Right, I'm using uh, Glenn, Glenn sent me the take from uh, Hawaii, came a long way to the UK, but they're lovely these brushes, these takes, and I use, I use the medium one quite a lot too, the little Ranson hake. I've got Frank Clark's ones and I like them as well. I'm just going to give that a bit of a, a bit of a slosh with uh, some raw sienna, just to lubricate everything. Especially down at the bottom here, we're going to put some water. I've got the board at about, ooh, about 10 degrees, 15 degrees, or thereabouts. A good angle for demonstrating. Used to do this uh, vertical like Steve Cronin, but after a while of it running down, I did it mainly because I was using a radial easel, a big studio easel and you couldn't lay it flat it worked okay for a while and I got, I got fed up with it uh, this, this arrangement is, is, is better I think uh, right well here we are, we've got uh, this, uh, cadmium yellow pale which I don't like uh, cadmium yellow which I do like raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey my favourite colour is burnt sienna. So there we are. So we'll put in a little bit of blue. Thing about, I'm just replicating a bit of the sky that I can see outside my window. A little bit darker. because we're looking down into water. So it's reflecting the high bit of the sky rather than the back. Okay, that'll do. And now like a bit of cloud, so we had a bit of light red to the ultramarine. And then we can just put in some, some nice clouds going down to the horizon, getting less and less. And we'll put a little bit of that in, in there. Okay, I quite uh, can't see a lot of uh, little clouds low down going into 
sort of nothingness. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll let that go. I'll give the paper another reclip, clean the brush. I'll give it a dry. And I will uh, give you plenty of warning when I'm going to dry it. I'm not going to edit it out, it just takes too long. Uh, right, okay, uh, headphones off, mute your sound, or we'll skip this bit, go. Okay, that's not too dry. Uh, we want some landscape now in the background and have a bit of a river sweeping around. Uh, so I'm mixing a bit of blue with a bit of Payne's grey. Gives a much cooler look to the uh, to the blue. But we want to just. Uh, I just put these little trees in with the corner of the hake. Okay, so there's a Good start. I just want to just move my picture. I've got the camera setting on long play so that it will record indefinitely rather than split the video in uh, 50 uh, in uh, 34 minutes. Okay, so we'll, we'll put in a bit of a uh, bit of light to warm my stuff now because that's a burnt sienna. And a bit of that cabin, you know. So a bit of paint's grey in there. Push. I'll, I'll thicken that up a bit when it's dry, or when I dry it. Uh, right now we want something. Oh, that's a good shape to this water here. Right, that'll do. And we'll have a bigger 
uh, well, I'm going to take that over a bit further, probably, uh, let's see. No. We'll make more of this side. I think, come across there. Oh, we can put some trees into this. Nice dark, nice green. Dark green in him. This paper doesn't scrape off as nicely as the uh, as the um, Fabriano. That's a great paper for for lifting out. darker in there and I can do some dry brush over that I'll dry that off now, so headphones off, ready, go. Okay, so that's the paper stage is pretty flat. A little bit there, but we're not bothered about up there. We're not going to go there anymore. Uh, right, so now we've got to start putting in some detail. Now, I was looking at this here. I could probably put a bit of darker stuff in there just to give another plane, so we'll do that. I'll add a bit of warm up burnt sienna with that blue. I don't want it too warm this colour because it's distance and I want to preserve that that distance there. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Right, put in some trees now. So, uh, let's have a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of blue, a bit of burnt umber. And we'll just start to. So bring the hairs on the brush together. I'll put some uh, leaves over this. Okay. Right, let's get some darks in there. 
So I missed a bit of uh, Payne's Grey with this, with the uh, burnt, burnt sienna. Reflections in there. See, just that little touch there just gives that impression of a reflection of water. Okay, let's go over the other side and do similar, but not the, but not sort of symmetry. We don't want symmetry. It's just. I have one coming up there. You can overdo that. Right, same again, let's have a bit of a bit of a shadowy colour coming down there. Then I'll sort some uh, I might use uh, Frank Clark's large hake for that. Yeah, kind of a bit of shadow going that way. There, just that impression of Okay, let that go. I'm going to give it, give it a dry now, and I'm going to use Frank Clark's hake. Where are you, Frank? Uh, there you are. Frank Clark's hake. I bought the three brushes for twenty pounds, including postage. They're very good brushes, uh, but I, they do different things, and I prefer the my Ron Ranson hakes, of course. I always go back to them. Right, I'm just going to dry this. So headphones off. Quiet, quiet, quiet. So I'm going to have some autumn-y type leaves, so wet the brush, take the excess off, burst yellow, bit of yellow, cadmium yellow, a bit of burnt umber. Not enough water, so too much off. A bit of Payne's grey, give a bit of shadow. Because don't want just one tone on the leaves.
Right, I'm just going to clean that off, brush and get some raw sienna. See how dry it's gone. But that'll soon come back to wetness. Just get some of that to lighter colour on there. Now, black. Well, paint's grey. But a bit of shit. Careful, I'm overdoing that. Okay, we'll put a bird or two in there. Put it in the mounts and we'll have a look at it. Where's my bird brush? Right, a bit of a Well, I'll do this. Famous last words. Okay, I'll sign it. Okay, the hell does it take? 22 minutes, 23 seconds. Right, put that on the top. That's long enough for an impression of this watercolour, I think. Uh, right, the mount. Uh, this double mount. Um, only just fits, really. It's some better, better. Uh, this, the paper I've got is 15 by 11. This frame is, this mount is cut for uh, 16 by 12. But, uh, well, I quite, I quite like that. Let's just uh, raise up a bit. Okay, well, there we are. Thanks for looking in, folks. So I'll get this uploaded now. And I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy your, your day. And see you soon. Bye-bye.